it's not stranger it's tristan with a haircut <laughs> we are in istanbul in istanbul i am made to be free ourselves in the famous Taxim Square. Come around, Stacey, come around. Oh. Come around, come around, come around. We found ourselves, <laughs> we found ourselves in the famous Taxim Square in, in Istanbul. We're here for a week and we have a surprise for you, but we're not gonna share that yet. We're very excited for Istanbul. We came out of Taxim Square and we were greeted with this and how could we not love it? On the edge of Taksim Square is this giant mosque. It will be our first mosque in Turkey to visit, if we're allowed inside. We're allowed in the So Tristan and I got separated. I'm going up to the women's prayer area. See what we can see. got a little poke into that mosque. There's a little taste, a little teaser, uh, but it is like an active working mosque and there are in people in there praying and there wasn't tourists in there kicking around. So we very respectfully got in and very respectfully got out. Uh, but kind of neat, very cool. Now we're walking down like a kind of famous shopping street. We are here at the base of the famous Galata Tower, um, but it is not a budget-friendly thing to do in Istanbul. It's 30 euro, which is like 50 Canadian dollars to go in a tower. That's crazy. I'd rather eat 100 durum. The wraps, these delicious wraps. So we're not going to go in. We looked from the outside. Very nice. We made use of the fountain here to cool down a little bit, um, but this is for outside viewing only for us. to the water and it's so beautiful it's so neat having the mosques like poking up everywhere yeah it, this is so pretty Istanbul is gorgeous yeah good morning or more like good afternoon uh, this morning again we did a couple more tours, but we also explored some of the smaller streets around our accommodation. But now we have a surprise for you. Mm. Everybody should be so excited. <laughs> we found ourselves in beautiful Taksim Square again here at the mosque, and we're ready to show you our surprise. Look who it is. It's John. It's John, <laughs> our friend who traveled with us in Vietnam before, has joined us in Turkey. So he's gonna be kicking around with us for like the next like three weeks. 20 days, 18 days, whatever. Very exciting. We're here at Dhamma Palace. Said, Said perfectly the first time. time. Uh, but it's 30 euro to go inside. So we just came to see how much we could see from the outside because it's a pretty building on the outside as well. And it's right on the river. So maybe we'll see it from over there too. It's not river, it's Bosphorus. Nice. We're done walking along the water. There wasn't really much else to see actually, but now we're gonna take the funicular back up the hill towards Taksim Square. Just to give us a little break. Lord, it's like an angle. <laughs> In our fight to beat the heat, we came for ice cream. And how's ice cream? <laughs> Good morning. We are rushing over right now to meet John because we are headed into the old town. We're gonna do our first walking tour here on the other side, the famous side. Uh, we haven't made our way over there yet. We've been waiting for John to do all the big things. There's John, gonna go buy some water. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we've arrived at our walking tour. It's here just at the Hagia Sophia in the Blue Mosque kind of area. Look at this right behind me. Wow. And just this is our taking guy. the bus in. 
we were just like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The city like, it's is so cool. Here. The city's something else. And this is our tour guide right here, Mr. Yellow Umbrella. And we're going to do a walking tour. We have a couple of these planned, um, but this one is kind of like the hits. This is like the best of. The walking tour just brought us to the Hippodrome in Istanbul. And this column is 3,500 years old. It's the oldest thing in Istanbul. That's crazy. Doing the walking tour right now, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. John, how are you liking it? There it is. No, I'm loving it. I think he's a really good tour guide. We're yeah. doing another tour through this company you called the Alternate him. Tour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's very clear. It's really nice. Uh, but he's not doing that tour, so it's kind of sad. We just finished the walking tour. It was great. Um, and he also sold like half price phosphorus cruise tours. So we bought tickets for that too that we can use on any day. So that's nice. But now we're going for lunch. So after our P-Day lunch, we are gonna go into the Blue Mosque. Uh, our tour went into a different mosque because the Blue Mosque was too busy. But he says the afternoon is a good time to come. So that's what we're doing. The Blue Mosque is very beautiful. Is called the Blue Mosque because it has all of this blue tile decorating all the walls on the inside. It's it's very pretty, and there's lots of really nice stained glass too. Very nice. Kind of smelled like feet. Everybody has their shoes off. Just behind you with my shoes, to be honest. We are not going to go into Hagia Sophia. It's too expensive. Too darn expensive. I'm going to pay 25 bucks to go into a mosque. If this is what we get to see, no problem. I thought that was really nice. If you want to do a cheaper mosque than Hagia Sophia, equally as famous, probably equally as nice, the Blue Mosque here. Uh, you can't go wrong, I think. So we're now at the Topkapi Palace. The first little garden is free to explore and you can see the outside. Uh, but to enter is like 60 US dollars. So there's no way we're paying that much. So we're just gonna see what we can see for free. Don't get deterred when you see this first kind of checkpoint. It's just security. You don't have to pay to go through there. You can really see much of the palace from the outside. That's okay. Uh, just below the palace, there's this nice park, nice and shady. And apparently there's a free cistern you can find in here. So we're in search for that. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. I already got a little peek in there. We found it. That's pretty nice. Find. Good morning, sports fans. The three of us are headed today across to the Asia side. We're going to cross the Bosphorus. Very exciting. We're going to go to a few sites around and then we're going to go to a hammam where we're going to get um, <laughs> butt, butt sausages. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a, it's a, mas a massage, no, no, a slap, no. a slap, a back crack, and a scrub a dub. A, a slap down, a back crack, and a scrub a dub. That's today's plan. We're on the ferry. We're up top. Nice breeze, shade. Get a nice view. We're off of our 50 cent ferry ride. Honestly, it's a really cool way of seeing like the coasts of the Bosphorus. It's very pretty views from there. Worth a little trip over. Don't take the bus, take the ferry.
Having explored down by the water a little bit, we've come up on our way to the Hammam, to this place. And it's a sort of a Turkish Palestinian uh, place where we're just gonna grab lunch. And then we're headed up to the Hammam at uh, two o'clock for our little uh, back rub, back crack and scrub a duck. So this is mine. I got this like kind of falafel plate. And it comes with this salad. And Stacy <laughs> got the wrap. And John got the same thing I did. Yeah, looks really good. Walking for what seemed like forever from that really delicious lunch, uh, we've arrived. It's called Sinili Hamam, and it's where you get like a Turkish bath. This one actually, interestingly, was built in like 1607. So it's a really, it's a kind of an old one. It's like 370 years old or something. So because men and women are separated, I am entering a different entrance for women only. So they give you like a little room to change in and a towel and a, or two towels. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to know how this works, but we'll see. We are walking along this street here on the, just randomly kind of near Taxim and we're going for a cafe and we've encountered like the Mystic Street. It's all like fortune tellers and coffee and tea readers and not what we're looking for, but just interesting. I don't know, just like randomly a street full of fortune tellers. We have come here to Sham Cafe to get some teas oh my God, oh my God. and shisha. shisha. Tell us about the flavor we got. We got Russia, we got Love 66. It tastes exactly almost like how it sounds. Russian 74. <laughs> <laughs> we came here for ice cream earlier. This place just has like, if you want it, they just have it. Wait, I can, I can blow a smoke ring. <laughs> can you blow a smoke ring? <laughs> Not in this wind. <laughs> we are walking back now after enjoying our cafe time. Just walking down this street that feeds out of Taxim, it's like, it's always hustling and bustling. It's got so many people. Monday night, a busy Monday night here. Um, but it's nice, it's got like a really nice kind of like energy and it's nice that it's busy, it's almost midnight. This place is just like jam packed. Good morning, today we are going back into Old Town and we're gonna go visit the Basilica Cistern. It's a little bit of a pricier attraction to visit, but our tour guide said it was one of the more unique things you can visit here. So we're gonna go check it out. After that, we're gonna grab lunch and then we have another walking tour we're gonna join. It's the alternative walking tour. So they just take you to sites within Old Town that are not the hits or <laughs> no, <laughs> our alternative, uh, just to see more of Old Town. Our walking tour guide was totally correct. Come first thing in the morning when everybody else is jockeying to get into the mosques and there's no line like we're just walking right up to the front of it. We're in the Basilica Cistern right now and it's very cool but it's very humid down here. So I'm glad I brought a fan but it's very cool. These columns are all like 2,000 year old Roman columns. It's very cool and this was just for the palace. This whole thing was just for the palace. It's really interesting. We found the Medusa heads that we were told about in our walking tour. They are Medusa heads that are either turned on their side or upside down um, for two reasons. One was that the Muslim faith doesn't allow like idols, so there's never any depictions of people or animals. And then the second reason is because they didn't want her to be at eye level because they were scared to be turned into stone. So that's why they're, she's uh, upside down or on her side. It's just really cool to see that. Lunch was delicious. And now we are gonna go explore the Grand Bazaar for a little bit before we meet up with our walking tour. It's nothing like I expected it to be. Yeah, it's like air conditioned. At all. <laughs> I'm 
wandering around the Grand Bazaar here, it seems to flip flop fairly quickly between sort of more narrow, sort of older feeling shops, and then like much more like modern feeling area. Like right now we're in a very modern feeling area. And then you'll like go down one little thing and it's, things are narrow and they're selling antiques and selling kind of older stuff. Anyways, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's not kind of what we were expecting at all, uh, but it's enjoyable to walk around and the ceilings are quite ornate and we had some really good Turkish delight. We're done perusing around in the Grand Bazaar. That place is huge and it's a maze. We kept coming back to places we had been without realizing. Um, I guess prices are more expensive in the Grand Bazaar though, so we didn't really buy anything. John bought some tea and some delicious, delicious. Turkish delight, uh, but we didn't buy anything else. And our guide said that he didn't really recommend people buying things in there, but it was cool to walk around and like look at everything. My favorite was like the antique section. Uh, everything else started kind of like getting repetitive, I guess, but yeah, it was cool walking around. After going through the Grand Bazaar, we're gonna get some ice cream. It might be interesting to know that Trevor James, the food ranger, uh, often inspiration of our food videos, uh, came here and said it was good, so that's why we're here. So we're sitting at the mosque and we got kada yif, I think it's called, with ice cream on top. Mm. It's good? Yeah, this is really good for like a hundred. We are leaving the mosque here that we've been sitting under and enjoying a little rest outside of Bina. And I wanted to just praise Bina. It's affordable, it's good quality, tastes really good. And I don't see any other tourists. Like it's just us. So it feels like a very local place. Like maybe people don't know too much about it. And you come and for like $3, you get the, the delicious dessert with the Turkish ice cream and- And you get a nice outdoor seat. Yeah, you get a nice place to sit area. and hang out. It's definitely, if you're around the Grand Bazaar and you need a snack, come here. This isn't even one of our food videos. We give you the best tips in the main videos. And that's what you get for being a good, being a good viewer. We'll watch, we'll watch the other stuff. stuff. We just started our walking tour and our guide is very funny, so this should be good. Seems a little eclectic. It's mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah. We are on our walking tour now, which is going up for quite a while. I think he's just kind of like having fun going along. But we've come to Sultanahmet Mosque. And from Sultanahmet Mosque, you get this absolutely stunning, gorgeous view of the city. And it just, it's nice to just take a second and we just like are appreciating where we are. And it's really cool. And being in Istanbul is like super neat and it's a gorgeous city. And we're on the other side of the world seeing places we've never, I don't know, like I never even have seen anything like this in my whole life. And so it's just, it's given us a moment of like appreciation. Um, and it's. We both are very pleased with this temple and are really enjoying it. We just finished our walking tour. It was really good. Um, this one was much more about learning about the culture in Turkey. So we would see a couple sites, but it was more about gaining that information from him. So that was really cool. And he was very funny. He was a nice guy. And we're calling it a day. Uh, because tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day for us. We thought the walking tour was going to take us to the spice market, but it didn't. So now we're heading there now. I think this is the entrance. Good morning and welcome to our final day here in Istanbul. For now. For now. Uh, where we, you rejoin us here in the beautiful Taksim Square. Um, today we are just headed to the Archaeological Museum and then uh, later we're, we're getting up to some stuff in the evening. It should be a pretty relaxed day. We have a little bit of prep to do. Tomorrow we have a long travel day, but this is our final day here in the beautiful Constantinople.
Emperor Hadrian was a bully. downstairs. Uh, we finished at the museum. It was really nice. There's a lot of really cool artifacts and big sarcophagi and uh, a lot of old pottery and everything. Um, a couple of the buildings are not open but that actually made it easier to visit like everything. But yeah so now we are grabbing something quick to eat and then we're having a nice long siesta for our night tonight because we're gonna be staying out later. Tonight. squad. It's our last night, and so we've come down to do a Bosphorus tour. And we don't know where to meet, but there's a crowd. So we're just gonna follow it with our tickets, like lost puppies. done our time here in Istanbul. Uh, we spent about six, five or six full days here. Um, and we just found a nice rooftop cafe to kind of wrap it up. Um, we're here at the, it's called the Aga Kapsi. And it's just got a gorgeous view of the city. And we think this is a fine place to sort of have our final night. Okay, we'll see you in the next place.